<laughs> well, it's been a while. So I'm going to apologize right now. Uh, this was not the video I was actually working on. I was working on some Nintendo news. But I decided to get this one out the door because I checked Twitter today. Now, I don't check Twitter very often. I admittedly should be using Twitter more often than I do. But I had a notification. And this notification came from a particular Twitter user. I'm going to uh, white out his username and stuff because I don't want you guys go heading over to Twitter and attacking him. I know what the internet does sometimes. Defense forces come out. I don't even know if I have a defense force, but I whatever. Uh, basically, this person tweeted at Arlo stuff. You know, Arlo, the, the YouTuber, his Twitter handle. Um, and he said, so I've discovered a YouTuber that can't come up with original content. And then obviously he says at Ninty Prime, which is our, our Twitter handle. And he says, uh, he, he puts screenshots, which I believe he took with his phone, just based on the style of them. Um, and his first one has a news flash. It's time to take the Nintendo Switch seriously, a Review Tech USA video. That was posted on September 12th, as he so conveniently uh, points out in the screenshot. And then in the next image, uh, he, he points to my video published on September 14th. Uh, that it's, it's time for all gamers to take Nintendo Switch seriously. Now, obviously... Uh, those titles are very, very similar, and I did take inspiration from Richard Review Tech USA's uh, thing. But the, the thing was, I was already working on a video very similar to what Rich made, uh, especially with all the new third-party announcements that came out of the Nintendo Direct. I feel like it's an easily defendable point why we both had similar videos. Rich and, my, and myself actually have a very similar style to how we do things, but I also don't think it's a crime to take inspiration. It's not like I went point by point through the things he said and just repeated what he said. It's not like I, I oh, here's what Rich said, here's what I said, they're the exact same things, bada-bing, bada-boom. Like, that's not the way it works, right? It's okay for YouTubers to be inspired by other YouTubers or for multiple YouTubers to cover the same topic. I mean, let's be real. How many, uh, like, even when I post a news piece, how many other YouTubers have posted that same news piece? And I know that's not comparable to, like, rants and original content, but it, it's still, it, it, it is something that is, I think, okay to do. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with making a video on a topic that somebody else already made a video on. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But then he goes on to point out a video published back in June 29th. Uh, where Arlo uh, posted up a video that says, Nintendo's back, baby. It's really weird that this is being brought up several months later, but whatever. And then he points to a video I posted on my birthday um, about Nintendo is finally back and it feels so good. And that video did perform pretty well for me. You know, 19,000 views. Um, and, yeah, uh, I, I didn't really reiterate many of Arlo's comments on it. Obviously, I saw Arlo's video. I'm aware of Arlo's video when I made that video. But, uh, yeah, obviously I was inspired by what Arlo said to make my own video on the topic. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But what, what really set me off isn't so much his accusations that I can't come up with original content, right? Because coming up with original content is something that uh, is very hard to do. Um, I, but I mean, let's even address, um, that, that point that I can't come up with original content. So I decided to actually see, uh, how valid his points are that I do not come up with original content on my own, because it's very important to me that, that this channel has some originality to it. While we do things similar to other channels, I want to make sure that, uh, that we're doing this correctly. So I went through my most popular videos and I kind of, um, I, I ignored any videos that were basically older than say six months when, when this channel officially became Nintendo Prime. So we're not gonna even count the eight month ago we battled Ocarina of Time or the Step Talus thing. That was all under the gaze of Zelda Informer. Even 10 months ago is the you know, Breath of the Wild the Dragon Break. Again, that's all stuff that came when this channel was Zelda Informer. But under Nintendo Prime, our most popular video we've ever created as Nintendo Prime is Sony and others can't understand uh, who Switch's core audience really is. An original content piece I created based on some news out of Sony that blew up on the channel and is by far and away our most popular video. You saw the Arlo thing, you know, that that that, that one video for 19,000 views, it says 79,000. But forget viewership wise, that's some original content right there. Uh, what if the Wii U was the Wii HD and released in 2010? I don't think I've ever seen any other video ever on that uh, what, whatsoever. It was a what if scenario. I literally pulled off the top of my head 49,000 views. 
uh, you know, we can go further. You know, the Nintendo Switch units are bending, but it's not likely what you think. I did some research. I read a bunch of articles on it, made what I felt was an informative news report on it, and that, that blew up. Uh, you know, g- just looking at some other stuff. One month ago, a lawsuit sh- threatens to shut down Nintendo. There's a original news report. Uh, Switch online app fears are, are realized. Some more news. Uh, Switch, Switch has set an example for the industry with 60 FPS on 80% of titles. Again, I felt like that was a, an original content video for me right there. 31,000 views. Um, Dev blames Nintendo for Iowa's death. A, a touchy topic. I, I didn't like making that video, but I still made it anyways because it happened. Um, you know, why the Wii U, uh, failed and the Switch is succeeding. Again, completely original content of my own. And I decided that just looking at some of my most popular videos might not be good enough. So let's just look at my videos on the whole. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I never take inspiration from other YouTubers, or if a YouTuber covers a particular topic, it doesn't make me want to cover that topic as well. Of course it does. Um, YouTube is an area where we all borrow from each other. We all... Um, feed off of each other's ideas to make what we feel is compelling content for our audience. So let's just look at uh, some of the stuff that 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 is more original, like an honest conversation about the toxic toxicity in gaming. A video I put up today. It was based on uh, Richard Review Tech's video about um, uh, about dealing with some of the sourness on YouTube, where people make uh, short, you know assumptions about you based on your age or dismiss you as your age and other stuff ageism i think is what he called it uh but i i took that topic and expanded it to talking about toxicity and all the gaming so i added a heck of a lot more context to a, a completely different conversation on top of that that that, that wasn't original content that wasn't news so i'm not going to cover news um because i i don't necessarily think that news is wholly original news is what it is even if i have an original take on it um there is let me see here uh, the right and wrong way for third parties to treat Switch. Again, completely original content. Um, NBA 2K18, Switch versus PlayStation 4 versus Xbox One. That, again, was not news. That was completely original content. Uh, why Mario Plus Kingdom Battle, ra- you know, why Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle is so good. Part of our podcast. Our podcast is 100% original content. So original content. Pre-ordering SNES Classic, telling our personal stories. Again, original content. Um... It's time to take the switch seriously. Again, that's the one that I admit that I, you know, I got the idea from Rich at Review Tech USA. Um, Nintendo Direct Reactions. Again, completely original content. Our Direct Live Show, original content. Uh, Switch's voice chat just got better. Uh, That's news. But then examining Mario Odyssey's map, original content. So how many of these videos just in the past, oh, I don't know, 14 videos or so, did I literally just say that's completely original content? half i mean it's it's baffling to me when someone grabs two specific examples where i clearly drew inspiration uh from other channels and then goes on to say that i don't have any of my own original ideas uh or that i don't create anything original i mean look at uh, there's a review for mario plus rabbit's kingdom battle did i steal that review from somebody else too Uh, did i steal my viewpoints on nba 2k 18 from other people uh it's it's baffling to me uh when People take what you do, uh, grab really small sample sizes, take it completely out of context of the rest of your channel, and then accuse you of doing something that is, you know, on the surface deplorable. If all I did, if every video I'd made was just taking topics from every other YouTube channel out there and regurgitating uh, those topics, and not just regurgitating the topics, but literally point for point saying the exact same things those people are doing, which is, is, is that's plagiarism, right? Like, you can always use somebody else's, no one owns an idea, but if you take the idea and you make the exact same points in the exact same way, you're literally just copying content, right? And that's not what I did. At least I don't feel like that's what I did in the two videos I'm being accused of doing that kind of thing with. And even if I had, those are not a majority of the content on my channel, nor are they a majority of the original content. In fact, in the time span between July 5th and like September 14th or 15th, whenever that video was published, um, I've produced over 100 videos. So the fact that there was only two examples brought up out of 100 videos... Uh, 100 or more videos lets you know that uh, that that can't be true. If that was true, my channel just wouldn't be here. Now, what set me off, what made me want to respond, is his own reply to his own accusation, 
where he says, look, I get you need money to feed your family and Nintendo addiction, but you're 30 and have kids, get a real job. This bothers me because I don't do YouTube exclusively for a living, right? Uh, we're a small YouTube channel. Uh, you can look at Social Blade and get estimates, but I'll give you a, a round figure now. I can't give you anything exact, and obviously it fluctuates up and down, but we make roughly $400 a month off our YouTube channel, uh, and that's it, combining it with Patreon and everything. So everything surrounding Nintendo Prime is roughly $400 a month. No, I'm not supporting a family of five, three kids and two adults, on an income of $400 a month. I mean, come on. So clearly, um, I have another job. And just because that other job also enables me to work from home, which is really convenient for making content at Nintendo Prime, uh, doesn't mean that, uh, that I view that other job as my future, right? That other job is how I support my family. I make a vast majority of my income at that other job. And I appreciate having that job. I appreciate the work it takes to do that job well. And I am uh, obviously making enough money to support my family off of it. But it's not <laughs> its not something that I view as my future, right? It's a job I do not like doing. It's a job I do reluctantly. But it's a job that I'm good at and I do because it supports my family. YouTube is not a job I do because it supports my family. YouTube is a job I do because I love doing it. I love creating videos. I love building something at Nintendo Prime. That is me. I spent, you know, the last 10 years or eight years of my life building up um, a website in ZeldaInformer.com that is not mine. I, I built it up for somebody else to turn around and sell it for several tens of thousands of dollars. Um, and then for the current owner of it to basically boot me out the door uh, without much of a conversation because. Um, they want to do it. They want to turn it into as big of a cash cow as they can or whatever the reasons might be. And that's fine. Th they own it. But I spent like a huge chunk of my adult life building that place up for somebody else. So it feels good here at Nintendo prime to build up something that's wholly mine. I own Nintendo prime, the website, the Twitter handle, the Facebook page, the YouTube channel. These are mine. Any followers, any viewers, any subscribers, any likes I get at any of this stuff are things that are wholly for me. It's an entity that I'm building up for myself. And I would love to just do Nintendo Prime related stuff, whether it's news posts on the, on the website, uh, whether it's making editorials, whether it's making videos or what have you for a living. I would love to have YouTube be my job, my only job. There are so many YouTubers out there that have YouTube as their only job, and I would love to be one of them. But we also have to realize, when people say, uh, get a real job, that is a complete disrespect to the medium of YouTube. And it's a disrespect to all YouTubers in general. Because any YouTubers that make a living off of uh, YouTube or make any sort of revenue, I view, I view YouTube as a part-time job because I make a revenue off of it. Uh, it's insulting to so many people. I mean, it's really insulting to me because he's saying that, that what I do at YouTube isn't a real job. Uh, I, why? Because I enjoy it? I, I don't get it. Because I enjoy what I do, it's not a real job. So do you have to hate what you do to be a real job? Or is it the fact I work at home that makes it not a real job? Uh, is it the fact that um, I, I'm self-employed? I work for myself at Nintendo Prime. Is that what makes it not a real job? Uh, is the fact I rely on ad revenue that makes it not a real job, then I guess like everyone at IGN, it's not a real job because their money's from all ad revenue. I, it, it's baffling to me when, when people talk about what's a real job and what's not. I was editor-in-chief of Zelda Informer for like the last three years, and I got paid a wage to be editor-in-chief of Zelda Informer. That was a job. Um, likewise, I'm being paid by YouTube to run this YouTube channel. Uh, that to me is a job and no, I don't always enjoy it. There, there are days I really do not want to get an upload. I've been sick for the past week and yet I still got a video up every day because I know what happens to my channel if I skip too many days of uploading. They, they start to uh, take your channel away from the recommended areas and there's certain things you have to do to maintain a YouTube channel that isn't always fun. Um, so if it's that I enjoy my job, sure I enjoy it, but I don't enjoy every aspect of it. Uh, so yeah, it's, 
it's just an interesting conversation uh, when people accuse uh, what I do as not being a job. Um, I've seen enough people out in the world uh, not view what YouTubers do as a job, not view uh, what what I even did at Zelda Informer as a job, not viewing what I do at my other job as a job. Uh, people don't really understand the amount of work that goes into these things for them to be as good as they are. And I'm not saying my channel is not perfect and it can't be better. Uh, it can be and it will be. And I hope that it continues to grow and continues to improve. But it's really hard uh, seeing accusations like this. And I'm not going to be talking, like every time someone accuses me of this, I'm not going to make a video, obviously. This is the first time I've been accused of anything like this in a long time. Um, I've, I've dealt with these accusations back at Zelda Informer as well. And I don't know, it's just weird. YouTube's a different place. It's more personal and it's more, uh, there's more insight. You guys know more about my family than anyone ever found out at Zelda Informer, even the staff. Uh, and that's because I feel like uh, YouTube is just a more personal place. It's a more personal conversation I have between you guys and me. So, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to apologize for taking inspiration. Um, I didn't steal any videos. Um, I created my own content that happened to be on the same topic. So, I, I don't know. Two videos out of 100 plus, I, I don't see what the big deal is. And uh, I have so many examples of original content. Um, I, I always say if you're someone out there that's looking to get people or looking to... Uh, make an example of them, trying to make a stronger case, uh, you know, to talk about how I can't come up with original content in a sea of original content um, is it's just really mind-boggling to me. And uh, never make it personal. And I, I just said that YouTube channels are personal, but never tweet at someone or DM someone and bring up their kids, okay? It is never okay to bring up their kids and make accusations about not being able to support your kids, Seriously, if someone ever comes to me and tells me that my kids are not being supported because of what I do, it's a very upsetting thing to be accused of something you know isn't true. But someone out there actually thinks because I make YouTube videos, I can't support my kids. It's ugh. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Rubber Dance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more. And I'll catch you, hopefully, in a Nintendo-related video in the next one.